Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. Today, we'll be taking a look at LinkedIn Learning, which is formerly known as Lynda, as well as Creative Bug. Both of these sites are fantastic resources for learning new skills right from home, and you have full access to them with your library card. We'll begin by going to the library's website. From here, we can navigate to the online resources section at the top. Then we can just scroll down to the learn category. We can then click on the text that says learn. Here, we can select on LinkedIn Learning and then click login. Next, we can select get started. Here you can enter your library card number. So that's all the digits on the back of your card. Then you can enter your PIN, which will be the last four digits of your phone number. If you're having any difficulties logging in, feel free to give us a call at the library and we'll do our best to assist you. Now here's the home page. When I had originally set up my account, I had to list some topics that I was interested in. Now when I scroll down the home page, we can see that it's recommending videos to me based off of those topics. We can also find different topics by selecting this browse button at the top of the page. Here it lists three different categories of videos, business, creative, and technology. You can click on these buttons on the left to swap to a different category. Each category is then divided into different topics for you to choose from. So we're gonna take a look at the creative category, then animation and illustration, and then we're gonna select illustration. Now here it lists a variety of courses and learning paths on that topic. You can find the length of each course or the learning path on the bottom right of the thumbnail. Let's take a look at this Illustrator 2020 Essential Training course. This course is divided into different sections which you can see on the left. Each section has multiple videos for you to follow as you complete the course. You can find information about the course, the instructor, and related courses down below. And you can also click the flag icon next to a certain video in the course to save it to your profile. Now, if you needed to find a video at a later date that you started watching, you can click on the me icon at the top and then navigate to the in progress section. Personally, I have been learning how to code in the language Flutter. And here I can see all the videos I had previously watched on that topic. Now, if I click on saved, here we can see the video that I had just flagged on Illustrator. So this makes it really easy for you to return to a video that you may be interested in. Now let's try searching for a specific topic. I'll just type in the search bar and we will find a video on the programming language Java. The first option is actually a learning path for Java. Unlike the single courses, learning paths actually provide you a variety of courses, sometimes by different instructors, giving you a very comprehensive overview of a topic. Unlike single courses, which only usually take a couple of hours to complete, a learning path takes much longer. Sometimes it can be 19 hours or more, and that's because there's a variety of courses for you to complete in the path. I'll just click the home icon to return to the home page. On the right of the home page is also the option to see courses that are currently in progress, as well as videos that have been saved. You also have the option to set a weekly goal for yourself. Here you can set how many minutes a week you would like to watch courses to keep your learning goals on track. I'll set mine to 15 minutes, and now here we can see it says I have spent zero out of 15 minutes on my goal this week. I can also remove my goal by selecting edit and then remove. Next, we'll take a look at Creative Bug. We can access the site once again from the library page. Here we can just click on this button to open Creative Bug. Now I will enter my library card and my PIN. Once again, the library card number will be all the digits on the back of your card, and then your PIN will be the last four digits of your phone number. Now you can enter your details to create your account. This is the home page for Creative Bug. As we scroll down, we can see it provides us a few video suggestions to get us started. I can also browse my classes, which is currently empty. We can find classes by clicking this classes button at the top. As you can see, there are a variety of categories to choose from. Also, each category is further split into different topics, which you can see when you hover over the specific category. Let's choose this topic painting. 
Now we can see a variety of classes covering different painting techniques. Let's look at this one on botanical watercolor painting. Here we can watch a tutorial video walking us through the process. Each class also has different chapters for you to follow. You can skip ahead if you'd like to find specific information, or click on a chapter to go back and rewatch a section. Under the materials section, you can find a list of all the materials you will need for the class. The gallery shows examples of the finished product, as well as some user submitted photos of other Creative Bug members who have also taken this class. You can click on discussion to see some comments other members have made about the class. Also, if you click notes, you can add a note to the project. So let's just add a note here. Now I'll just save the note. And now when I scroll down, I can see as added a note at the timestamp 421. That's where I pause the video to add the note. And I can just click on it and it will take me back to that time. Now let's just skip ahead a couple minutes and add another note. I'm just going to add a note to review the section. Now when I click the note, it will take me back to that part of the video. I can just delete the notes by hitting the delete button. I can click here to add the class to my watch list. You can also view a transcript of the video and download a PDF with practice materials for the class. You can click on daily practice to find a series of videos for you to try every day. If we go to inspiration and then calendar, we can also see new releases that have been posted. There's an inspiration feed so you can get some ideas or be inspired by photos posted by other members. A pattern library to find knit and crochet patterns. And there's also class collections where you can find a variety of videos based on specific topics. So say I wanted to look at Valentine's DIY projects, I can click here. Now we can see a bunch of different DIY projects I can do all relating to Valentine's Day. You can also look at instructors. So if there's a specific instructor whose videos you really enjoy. There is also CBTV, which stands for Creative Bug TV. In this category, you can find resources to give you a greater insight into the creation process, to find some lookbooks, Facebook Live videos, and more. I can also click on this icon on the top right and check out my watch list. Here I can see the video that I previously added. To remove a video, I simply hit the X icon on the thumbnail. I hope with this video you are able to begin to learn and practice some new skills using LinkedIn Learning and Creative Bug. Thank you for joining us and I hope you have a great week.